Hi, I'm Brian Jackson, editor at itbusiness.ca, and I'm here at Adobe Summit in Las Vegas. Joining me today is Bilal Jaffrey, one of the practice leaders at Deloitte Digital. Welcome. Thank you, Brian. So we're just going to talk a little bit about what we've been hearing about at the conference, some of the ideas put forward in today's keynote and the press releases from Adobe, and uh, get, you, get your reaction to them. I'm interested to hear uh, your viewpoint on some of these issues. So, you know, Brad Wrencher today on stage, he sort of gave an interesting spin on the history of technology and what's been happening, uh, you know, especially in the business world when we're dealing with technology and integrating it. Right. Uh, so he said, technology has come in three waves, and it's time for the third wave right now, actually. So the first wave, he said, you know, was the back office transformation. The right. second wave, the front office transformation. Absolutely. And now we're in the third wave, experience. Right. What do you think he means by that? And what, what meaning can we take away from it? I think we're at a point now where, you know, the basic digital foundation has been formed all across. We all have websites, we all have mobile apps. We all have different platforms that drive those experiences, but where it comes down to brands, agencies, consulting firms, digital agency consulting firms like ours, where we're focused on is to improve that experience to be able to drive that personalized interaction that happens, and ultimately, you know what, how you resonate with the customer is through experience. We will notice a lot of vendors are going to focus on experience moving forward how they enable brands to drive smarter, personalized, one-on-one -on -one kind of experiences is ultimately what I think Adobe's referring to. We went from you know a different audience that focused on efficiency within the organization to now the chief marketing officer driving the overall experience from brand perspective, but at the same time also being accountable to figure out what works and what doesn't work and ultimately drop, put, assigning a number to that experience and how much that impacts the bottom line. And okay. I think ultimately that's going to drive the digital transformation within brands. Okay, good to get that sort of decoding of what, of what he really means. Uh, and a big big part of the announcement in uh, terms of what Adobe wants to introduce to its customers, right. and this is an idea that's really new, uh, from Adobe at least, is the idea of having a device cooperative. So we don't know what brands are involved so far, but Adobe did invite brands to participate in this uh, at this morning's keynote. And the idea is that today brands can have a hard time knowing if Bilal, you know, you connect on your PC with a brand, then you right. log in later with your mobile phone. Right. Is it the same person? Are those two different people? How, how many devices does Bilal own? Right. You know, Absolutely. and you always want to treat your customer as the same person. Um, is this a big problem in the industry? Why do you think Adobe is interested in pursuing this? Absolutely, right? So the number one driver of customer dissatisfaction is when I'm having a problem, I don't want to repeat it 10 times to 10 different agents who might be helping me resolve that problem. At the same time, you certainly don't want your salesperson to be approaching me when I'm having a problem with your product. So ultimately driving context all across the digital and the non-digital medium, so we're talking online, offline, retail, how do you drive context from when I'm searching for a product online when I have interacted with you, talking to you about how interested I am or how I'm seeking a certain experience from you and then kind of going into your store and you knowing specifically what I need, how you should address and how you should serve me. And I think Adobe's onto something here to provide that experience, the whole integrated experience because the biggest challenge that a marketer has is understanding and deepening that profile, the persona that they keep developing their campaigns around but in real time, it's very hard to optimize for it if you don't have context. Okay, great, great, great summary. And the, the last point I want to hit you with you here is uh, Adobe's new product that they introduced for their prime time uh, customers. Uh, right. So now they have new prime time over the top offering. So recognizing, right. you know, we're not, we're in the world of cable cutting here basically is, you know, that's what Adobe is, is admitting to, or, right. you know, recognizing with its customers. Right. And they're looking to help them sit, you know, if you're dealing with a broadcaster that has content, it's pushing it out on a mobile app, right. or over Xbox, right. over Roku, all these of channels. Of so, um, of you know, what, what does Deloitte, uh, you know, you must have customers that you're looking to help 
um, understand this fragmented audience and uh, how is Deloitte approaching that today? So we have a number of media clients who are going through this transformation, right? They have traditional models already in place that are driving revenue. We have non-traditional revenue streams in place. In Canada specifically, you've seen all the telecoms coming out with their own versions of Netflix because they missed the boat when Netflix came to license or partner up or do some kind of revenue share. Um, we're noticing, you know, all hung, I mean, media firms in general are rethinking their approach in the in the in the digital channels. Um, Deloitte. Uh, has recently, actually today, came out with a solution called Market Mix, which, you know, in layman terms, would allow you to provide context from online digital retail onto your setup box. So okay, imagine you search for Roku box, and now as soon as you get on your cable, you're watching something, you know, a news uh, clip for in regards to what has happened. Those guys are having fun. Um, and ultimately, you know, driving a personalized offer to you to save you from going away from cable. Imagine if I come back to you as a media firm, as a, you know, as a media company with a streaming offer coupled with what we have, you know, from a traditional cable perspective, right. something at a, at a price point which is attractive to you. And ultimately, that's the future of very personalized you know, targeting and, and personalization. Yeah, I could definitely see the value of that. So thanks so much, Bilal. Thanks. I really appreciate your input. And uh, again, I'm Brian Jackson, editor of itbusiness.ca. If you're looking for more coverage from Adobe Summit, just check out our website and a few of the links that I'll put below this video.